thanks for joining us again on NDI TV, uh, brought to you by Poorly Creative. My name is Pritesh Patel, I'm the Digital Marketing Manager for Poorly Creative. Today we'll be looking at landing pages, um, particularly for product manufacturers, um, and the importance of landing pages, what are they, and what makes a good landing pages. If you've got any questions that you want us to feature on any future episodes of NDI TV, feel free to send us a tweet at Poorly Creative, or send us an email or join our LinkedIn group, uh, My Digital Insiders. So, what is a landing page? Well, a landing page is essentially the, the first page a website visitor will see when they hit your website. Um, so, they could come from an email campaign, and the email may contain a link um, to an internal page within your website. So, Page two will be the first page that they see um, for your email campaign. Or you may create a completely separate page with a uh, unique look and feel uh, which reflect the imagery and the messaging used within the, the email. Uh, same again for uh, your advertising. Your advertising may uh, contain a link which may go through to page one um, of your website or, again, a completely separate um, landing page. However, uh, for search engines, uh, particularly Google, a little bit more interesting because the search phrase that the user types in, uh, essentially, if your website has been optimised, they may end up here, one of the deeper pages within your website. Um, essentially, they've kind of missed out the whole top section and your home page. Therefore, some of the messaging within your home page is completely missed. So you might have a home page with a bit of text that says who you are, what you do. Um, really, that messaging has been completely missed by the person who's Googling for a particular product. So now, page five becomes your landing page. Um, so it's important to think about the internal pages and first perceptions. Does it communicate who you are? So you might have your positioning statement at the top above the navigation. Uh, product literature, uh, you may have technical manuals that's, that kind of point people online uh, to access further drawings, for example, or specification material, and they may go to here. So really, essentially, what is a landing page? It's any web page uh, which a visitor views first. It's the first page, so it's the landing page. Um, so really, thinking about the sources and the page structure within your website. Question two, what are the elements of a landing page? Well, fundamentally a good landing page, um, all the information that a visitor needs should be presented on that page um, without making it too busy, too cramped, um, but just getting the main features and benefits over and then with the necessary call to action. So, a good headline. A landing page must have a good headline. And if they're particularly coming from a mark specific marketing campaign, that headline needs to be consistent with the source uh, that they've come through. Uh, number two is a subheading. So the subheading must be compelling or exciting enough for the visitor to actually read on. Uh, number three, imagery. You know, use good images um, that keep visitors on, pe on, on, on your web website or on the landing page. Um, use video if you have to. Um, number four, copy. Uh, keep a copy short, concise, uh, punchy. Um, get over the features and benefits you know, in bullet point format. Uh, number five is call to action. Probably the most important um, element of a uh, landing page. What is it that you want the visitor to do next? Is it to download? Is it to request a product sample? Is it to um, request a callback? Is it to... to, to, to um, actually book an, uh, their place at an event. So it's important to think about what the call to action is and how you present that. Make sure it stands out from the rest of the copy. It's easy to kind of, uh, the text becomes blended in with the rest of the uh, body copy, or the button is quite simply just you know, not visible enough. Reassurance, you know, visitors have come from an email campaign or they've seen an advert or they've um, searched something. You know, does that page have something that reassures them that Yes, this is the product that's for me, they're in the right place. So use testimonials or videos, you know, it's that reassurance message. Number seven is 
you know, having some additional information um, that is relevant to your offering, relevant to your products. Um, it's quite easy to kind of put in links just to fill a space um, and, and take people off in different directions. Number eight is, again, imagery. Um, it comes down to, similar to number three, it might be a special offer, it might be a newsletter, um, it might be something, another space for call to action that is related. So it might be technical updates that you're offering um, as part of the campaign for this particular product. It might be an upcoming CPD event, um, it might be um, that you're at EcoBuild or, or some sort of event and you're trying to entice people onto your stand and book an appointment with a sales rep or a technical rep. So there are the uh, elements of a, of a landing page, there's quite a lot uh, to, to think about there, but you know, it's kind of thinking about what is it um, that you want the visitor to do when they come to that particular page. So I hope that kind of sums up what a landing page is, what makes a good landing page, um, and, and thinking about consistency in messaging, when you get the email, um, is that the subject line relevant to, to the actual landing page, is the correct headline used? Um, the imagery, the copy, uh, and then thinking about the call to action as well. So that, that's kind of going through a bit of landing pages uh, and what the elements. Um, join us again uh, next time on MDI TV. If you've got any questions, then do send them in um, through to Poorly Creative. Uh, email us, and like I said before, join our uh, LinkedIn group, and we'll be happy to kind of answer your questions there. And if they need further uh, descriptions or further detail, then we will feature them within the, uh, another episode of MDI TV. Till next time, thanks again for joining us.